Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be talking, oh, talking, I'm going to be reading some of the stuff about the player feedback. Uh, I usually think some of the stuff inside the player feedback is pretty interesting, so I figure why not read it and see how they're kind of receiving feedback, and then I kind of give my opinions on it, and then you can do the same in the comments as well, so... Not much else to do in Dragalia but to read the comments and to do this though. Do this then. But uh, yeah, that's going to be today's video. So remember, if you end up liking it, remember to leave a like. It sure helps me a whole bunch. I don't mention how much it really helps the channel, but it, I am steadily growing up. Growing up. Growing in my channel, so every bit of liking helps. Um, and I always appreciate it. And you can comment and subscribe and do all that other good stuff. But let's get into the actual meat and potatoes here. So first things first. Um... To tap feedback on the game's title screen to open the leave feedback screen. The content of the interview has been edited for this notification, so wording may differ from original conversation. The content of the responses is from a time of the interview, so content that is in development may differ from the time of release in game. All right, so we'll go here. First is the question by Mr. Uchiyama in Asai, which I'll just call feedback. First up, we have feedback about Wukong's convictions, which were used to upgrade Wukong in the recent raid event. It seems players really like the new event style of the new system. New system of using materials obtained during the event to unlock nodes on his mana circle, and hope to see it in future events. Okada, the new upgrade system using convictions was well received by many players, so I want to keep doing that in the future raid events. Yeah, I agree. That was really good. Uh, the only thing I kind of wonder is if that means going forward there will be less dragons which to be fair the free to play dragons kind of all suck so it's not like it's going to be a loss but you know for some starting players a free to play dragon could end up being very helpful and for some not all free to play dragons are bad that that one kitty is used on um grace because of the hp buff for shadow which is maybe saying more about shadow dragons that aren't attack focused but anyway I think the main reason for the feature was well received were because by obtaining the conviction upgrade items during the event, it was possible to upgrade the event adventurer Wukong without using existing upgrade items, that is 100% the reason why. And because upgrading Wukong meant that he grew significantly stronger during the event. Wukong had an ability that gave an advantage during the event, so he was used a lot, even in difficulty quest. difficult quests, like the Omega Battles. I think the players were satisfied with this event because they were able to upgrade Wukong and use him to defeat bosses. Yeah, it was, again, I liked it. Okay, next one. Some players shared feedback about shared skills. While they do expend the options for clearing quests, it seems like healer adventurers will become less useful since any adventurer can use healing skills. The game operations, skill, operations team had the same expectations regarding shared skills, but based on our data, we have not seen healer adventures suffering any sort of striking decrease in usage at point in time. Furthermore, there are parts in high difficulty quests where a healer adventure is necessary, so I believe that the healer adventure are maintaining their usefulness at the moment. Yeah, I think that's fair. A lot of it probably has to do with the fact that tomes are super hard to get, but the second tomes stop being hard to get, you're going to see way less adventures, I think, uh, that are healers. Except for, again, on the highest difficulty stuff. It is kind of a bummer that because of the way it's built, um, there's an there's a attack decrease on the skills. So only the highest damaging skills are actually useful when sharing skills. So most people choose one that um, buff, uh, buff people or heal. Um, so... Yeah, this is a tough situation, but if their data says that they're still using healers, I think the problem is is that there's not a lot of healers, so if all your data is saying everyone's playing Grace, I don't think that's very good. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's very good, but uh, Grace or Halloween Lowen or something. But who knows? I don't actually know the data. Uh, we've received feedback that players would like it if they were not possible to use a dodge action. Okay, we've received feedback that players would like it if it were not possible to use dodge actions repeatedly because while the addition of invulnerability time to the dodge action was a good thing, players have become per perpetually invulnerable to flicking repeatedly. We discussed this a lot, but we settled on this mechanic because we wanted to make it easier for players to challenge a wide breadth of quests. Going forward, I want to make high difficulty quests that are predictable predicated on this mechanic, but players won't be able to clear quest if if all they do is dodge. So I think the increase the methods of avoiding attacks expands on the gameplay. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected. The reason why it felt so crazy overpowered is the fact that the game was never designed 
to do that. And now if you look at even the most recent Aguido bosses, there's entire points where you have to take damage unless you're doing crazy cheese strats anyway. Um, they kind of built it in mind of like, no, you can't dodge everything. Or maybe we're going to make it extremely hard if you miss time a dodge or something. Or make it borderline impossible to actually do anything if you try and dodge all the way. I don't think it's got it is as much of a problem. Um, but it definitely does make a lot of uh, previous stuff way easier when you can just dodge it all. Um. Oh, and he has more to say. As been the case up until now, you can use a skill right when a red action marker attack activates to avoid taking damage while the skill is active. And you will always get hit if you are within the area of a purple action marked attack. You can dodge attacks by doing outside by going outside the action's marker area with some exceptions. So this just increases the number of ways you can dodge attacks. However, it does not decrease the overall difficulty level and players who had come up with strategies using older methods for dodging attacks may feel a little unsatisfied with that, but I do hope you will look forward to the content we'll add in the future. Yeah, that, that's just kind of the way for it. Some players have shared feedback that they would like the capacity for rupees and mana you can hold to be increased. We are currently working on this. When the time comes, we will share some information on an update, update notification. What about the feedback from players about wanting to use a capacity for weapons, worm prints, and dragon increases? Increase. Uh, I don't really have much to say. It would be nice if they did. Uh, <laughs> what about the feedback from players about wanting to see the capacity for weapons, worm prints, and dragons increased? We increased all players' weapons, worm prints, and dragon capacities in the update the other day. Do you think they'll manage these things somewhat easier? No. Give more. The reason they don't want to give more is because you can buy more. Just give more! It fucking sucks! Especially dragons! I have so many useless- not even useless- I have so many dupe 5 dragons now that I'm running out of dragon space. So, no. We need more. What's wrong with you? Anyway, let's move on. This is feedback that using summon vouchers one by one is time consuming and players would like to be able to use the multiple vouchers simultaneously. This is currently in development as well, so please wait a little longer. I don't know how I feel about this. Because I feel at that point, is that just multi? And the whole point of the, the tickets was to do, never mind. Hmm. I mean, at that point, just give me a bunch of multi tickets, right? I don't know. We'll see how that's implemented. I kind of would like to just make it, you know, so my summon videos are maybe not as long. We have another request. Uh, from us this time too. The castle grounds are always bright and sunny, but if it would be nice if there was a feature where the castle grounds changed to nighttime after 6 p.m. or something like that. If the facilities glowed or if there was a decorative lightning display when it turned to nighttime. It might even increase the number of logins at night. I'll keep that in mind. Laugh. Thank you for the feedback. I think that would actually be a really cool addition, to be honest. Um, especially if you log in at the right time, because login for Dracalia is way late at night. For a lot of people, at least for me it is. It's 11 p.m. in California. Uh, we'd also like to share one request from our listeners. They say that they love how cute and energetic Cerise is and sad that she doesn't get to play a part in the main campaign. Plus, since she is a gala adventurer, unfortunately many people have not been able to get her and play as her in Dragalia Lost. To help even more people realize how great Cerise is, they hope they will give her more chances to shine in main campaign and consider giving her out as a story adventurer. While well, Cerise is an important adventure, I'll keep that feedback in mind as well. They 100% need to give some form of adventure to Cerise. Because it's crazy that she doesn't have one. And that all, the only way to get her is one, through Galabanner, which is borderline impossible now. And two, the Monster Hunter collab, which is gone. Which is super limited. So you really don't have much options if you're a Cerise fan. Same thing uh, for, Hol for Mim. Like, Dragon Mim is not the same thing. Gala Mim is a super limited unit that's super hard to get now. And Halloween Mim, super limited. Not a very easy unit to get. Um, so, I definitely think they need to... It's crazy that, especially since Cerise debuted as like a... She's had multiple events around her, and it's actually kind of crazy to me that she's never had a non-limited unit. It's even more crazy than Mim, because at least Mim you could look at and say, well, she's Brunhilda, so of course, like, she's still there. But it's actually kind of crazy that, even up to the most recent story, sh that person got an adventurer that was free 
before Cerise did, which is just insane to me. That's, I don't know how that works out, but yeah, that's all the feedback we got today. As always, uh, leave feedback to them in the leave feedback section, and thank you for playing Dragalia Lost. Yeah, not a bunch of things, not a bunch of things in there that are like eye-opening, some cool stuff going up. Yeah, I kind of like the fact, uh, it's funny that they don't talk about the Mana Spiral feedback, but maybe it's because they already released one, or maybe it was before that. I would not be surprised if the next time they do this, there'll be definite talks about Mana Spirals, and specifically how a lot of them feel lackluster for um, any unit that's not fire, or, no, that's not true. Mm, I don't know, it's a de delicate balance. I think people have kind of lean now towards like obviously people like the new water mana spirals more now i was always a fan of lily even though people were saying lily wasn't the greatest at launch and then people who love xander were able to kind of be like no there's a way to make xander shine and karina is just that's the best way to get your agito wins in extreme so i do think those ended up being good but they weren't on the same level as the previous spirals in terms of the ooh factor, basically. I think that was kind of the problem for me with them, is that they didn't really have panache. They didn't have, like, Lin Yu, where she shoots tornadoes out her four strikes. They were kind of, like, practical. But I don't know. But yeah, that's it. Hope you liked the video, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.